funny. It's like parody. Yes, yeah, unlike her stand-up. <laughs> I, I like her. I don't know. I feel like you she don't mind got. Her that? I feel like she got so canceled at one point, and then everyone just forgot about her. And then she ran a, a pretty successful sketch show. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Let me fix my hair. How? But Gabby, baby, your hair is never broken. So how could it be? So how could you fix it? You're right. She didn't I can't. Hear anything you said? <laughs> oh, she didn't hear a thing that I said. I hope that happens 10 times more. I hope so, too. <laughs> I did actually hear that. You said that my hair is never broken. So yes, it can't be fixed. Exactly. Um, How do you feel about that? I think you're wrong because I think that my hair with these headphones on is always broken. So okay. in a way, it's always fixed. Mm. That's an interesting take. Thank you, Tina. That's 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 your secret. You're always broken. <laughs> <laughs> There's this uh, for the Bachelor right now in the finale. Mm-hmm. They've been playing this one clip for promos all season where the main Bachelor just goes, "I'm so broken." <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I think of when you said that. <laughs> Tina, how do you like my chair? I I don't see a chair. I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, this chair. Oh. <laughs> You're being so I was like, Gabby, glib. I can't see anything. No, I actually did not know what you meant. It's really comfortable. Can I say, I also thought you were just talking about the chair where you're sitting right now. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to lie and be like, it's great. I love it. But I, like, I can't see it. <laughs> you guys are going to make me laugh so hard I cough. I thought you were about to say, you guys, you guys are going to make me laugh so hard I come. I thought you <laughs> That's what I always do with you two. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all, do you know those people who have like, I was going to call it toxic coming disease, but that's not what it's called. <laughs> that, tell me more about that. Is it, wait, are you talking about like persistent genital arousal? Yes. That one where that's the one. N- yeah, yeah, yeah. They're never not Ho- coming. Exactly. How do you both know about this? <laughs> uh, we're both just super cool dudes. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm researching yeah. conditions where the woman always comes. Because I'm like, why won't mine? <laughs> <laughs> why won't mine? Wait, are you saying that you're not coming or your woman isn't coming? Is that what? <laughs> I'm saying my woman isn't coming. I'm coming yeah, all the time. I see. Woman. Every second. Okay. Wait. You, you are keeping a woman somewhere. During, I'm keeping... <laughs> I'm hiding a woman in this house. <laughs> During sex, is, are both people supposed to come? No. No, 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 no. What, what, what are we, Rockefellers? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only the rich are coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeff Bezos has persistent genital arousal. <laughs> <laughs> People live paycheck to paycheck and also come to come. It's yeah. like it's not. <laughs> In the time you were waiting for your first COVID stimulus check, Jeff Bezos came f- five billion times. Five Indeed. billion. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And he's been edging everyone. Right when you're about to come, he pops up. And yep. He's like, no. <laughs> he's like, you can't <laughs> now that you've seen me. Yeah. Also, wait, before we get any further, I think we should do some claps to help sync up the audio just to help me out just a little bit. Oh, we haven't so. been recording. I love that. Okay. Oh, we've been recording. Hey! Gotcha! Three, Boom. two, one. What? <laughs> wait, let's do it. Let's do that one more time. Okay, I'm oh, going to do one, two, three. Okay, that's what, that's what we're going to do. All right. Ready, set. cool lucas you're the only one of us who's even a little bit black of course none of us are gonna have rhythm (laughs) what do you think this is some kind of rhythm podcast yeah well you're south african you could steal some rhythm (laughs) (laughs) colonialize some rhythm colonialize (laughs) oh god yeah, well, I guess we should say, uh, from me and my regular co-host, Tina Sieben, welcome to Two, Two Nosy, Nosy Meerkats. Meerkats. Welcome, and we have... Lucas and co-host. Yes. No, welcome, <laughs> guest. <laughs> Today you have a really wonderful guest. Don't you want to announce her? 
Oh, I'd love to. Uh, Tina, would you, what what do you have to say about our guest? Uh, this person is near and dear to my heart. Um, they're they're one of the funniest people I know. I wish I I wish they had a podcast actually that I, could I tune know. Into. It's a shame they don't because they because they're so talented. Super talented. They sound great on camera. Look, uh, no, sound great. <laughs> I meant to say sound great on mic. Look good on camera. <laughs> I'm, Look, I can't you're tell. really losing the thread without me. I really am. Uh, well, well, someone has to bomb on this podcast in your place. Uh, <laughs> Christ. So who's well, your guest? Uh, <laughs> who's your guest? Uh, our, our guest is the one and only Gabby Jordan Brown. Oh, Woo! thank you. It's Welcome, a shame. Welcome, Gabby. I agree. It's a shame I don't have a podcast of my own, squandering my potential away. I think Indeed. so. Yeah, but yeah, that's you, why you're here. Do you have any ideas for a podcast? Like, what would you would do if you had one? Yeah, I think I do one called Lucas Sucks. Uh, mm. So here's the format: a bunch of comics get together and just talk about how much Lucas sucks, and then we take listener submissions where everyone writes in different ways oh. Lucas sucks, and then at the end we do mm. a, a segment called Lucas Sucks Corner, and then we ask Lucas, what are the specific ways that you suck this week? And then we tell you the ways that you actually suck. Okay. But that sounds like you're just trying to get Lucas to self-reflect. Yeah. It sounds like you're, you're being very nice. That damn time. <laughs> it's a therapy podcast, actually. I would love it to is, be a yeah. guest on your podcast. Hey, we're all about mental health. Uh, sometimes bad. Sometimes, uh, sometimes good. <laughs> the bad mental health podcast. We're all about yeah. the bad mental health. <laughs> Let's give people problems. Just... <laughs> Mental health podcast. One, don't sleep. Take <laughs> ivermectin. <laughs> yeah. Eat Carvel ice cream cake and no nutrients. <laughs> Three times a day, like, and supersize me. Turn the food pyramid upside down. Just like. <laughs> Do you guys remember all Supersize carbs, yeah. Me? That movie? I remember that. I oh, yeah. I never forget it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That shit was crazy. Either he didn't need to prove that McDonald's was bad by going there three times a day every single day. And did he order the same thing every time? Like I don't know always... if it was the same thing, but he had everything on the menu. I think. I remember. Do you remember the dude who was featured in it who ate a Big Mac every single day of his life? Yes, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, and I he's don't... in like the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah. Yeah. As he should be. As he should be. He's also on my wall at home. Imagine. <laughs> Do you have just like a portrait of him? Yeah, of all the people I consider icons. <laughs> Who else is on that wall, Tina? Yeah, tell us. Uh, well, you, Gabby, of course. Of course, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start a podcast um, with that guy, the Big Mac guy. Mm. The Big Mac guy. Yeah. I think that movie didn't work because I'll say every time I go to McDonald's, I feel great. I I ordered twenty. I feel I ordered twenty chicken nuggets, and I'm like I feel girly, playful, fun, young. <laughs> you get the twenty, the big two o. Yeah, that five dollars, yeah. twenty chicken nuggets. It's a great deal. Did what you are, know that ch the chicken nuggets at McDonald's are vegan? What? Sorry, say it. what? The chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, give me a second. The, uh, you have time. The chicken nuggets at McDonald's are vegan. You're talking to the two most gullible people in the world. <laughs> you knew this was going to work. They're vegan? Wow. What yeah, about, apparently. Yeah. What, what about the sauces? What do you get for sauce? Um, The blood of a virgin? I don't know. <laughs> That's vegan, too. Yeah, that's the sweet and sour sauce mm -hmm. that they have. <laughs> it comes mm. in a little dippable yeah. thing. Mm, yum. Delicious. It really feels like you two treat. are interrogating me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where were you on the night of the murder? <laughs> I was there murdering. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I love that. I love the idea of like an interrogation, but it's it's like the person being uh, interrogated is just trying to confess, but the police don't believe the person. I, I did it. They're like, no, I don't think you did. Everyone says that. Prove it. Uh, I'm not it's over like, you. I am Spartacus. I'm not over Tina. You telling us that the freaking chicken nuggets are vegan. I can't stand you. <laughs> Lucas and I were like, what? Because it sounds true. Like, not everything. It sounds true. Not this is, I've been going to parties lately and, and just telling people that. <laughs> <laughs> oh and I'll God. be honest, you, 
you'd be surprised how many people believe it. I mean, I was I was in. I was going to invest. Yeah, because you follow it up with because it's not real me, and everyone's like, "That's true, actually, probably." Yeah, <laughs> it's also something okay. you want to believe. You can use that, and yeah, something you sure. want to believe. I well, think, yeah. Well, can I ask Tina? When did you start saying that, and what was the impetus behind you saying that? Oh, just a few, just. It's only been a few weeks, and what a great few weeks it's been. <laughs> but <laughs> the impetus was just I like to start rumors at parties that I go to. Okay. And oh, that I like was to one do that, that came too. to mind. Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Wait, what else do you say? Um, one time, actually, Gabby, you and I did this together. I think we said Timothy Chalamet is here. We were at a oh club. yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and we started telling people Timothy Chalamet is downstairs, and I think people went to go look. <laughs> I remember that really well. Actually, I'd forgotten it until right now. We were like, everyone would just buy it. The Timothy Chalamet everyone was buy here. It. You, and it's so surprising to me how much people are willing to buy into the rumors. Yeah. Well, it's also that, like, you, you never just assume someone is lying to you. That's, that's true. That's just Especially a thing. Especially not me. Everyone's like, just yeah. tell them the truth. I think that's like a, I think it's a Pete Holmes bit where he says, I don't understand why it's so bad to be gullible. Like, you tell me something, I believe you, and somehow I'm the asshole? It's like... <laughs> yeah, I love that Pete Holmes bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. It's like, who is the guy who is not gullible? Is it someone who's... Like, you're like Timothy Chalamet's downstairs, and I'm like you have an agenda. I think, like that person's <laughs> not you're trying, fun. You're trying to trick me. Yeah, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. How long ago was that that you guys did that? It was 2019, I think, pre wow. pre COVID. Yeah. yeah. Goodness. I used well, to... speaking speaking of which, would you like to talk about why you are on Zoom? Oh yeah, um, I'm on Zoom because I'm really trying to explore the art form of Zoom right now. Yes. Um, I believe that Zoom has gone untapped with its artistic mm. potential. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I have COVID. Mm. Separately. But that's like the secondary. 90% artistic reasons, 10% um, COVID. 10%. Um, uh, yeah. Do you remember we did a very dramatic episode about how people we knew had COVID and then everyone got COVID? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you did that episode, people did not have COVID. Yeah, people just didn't. You manifested. <laughs> <laughs> we put it on our vision board. <laughs> you put it on your vision board. <laughs> We're going to get we COVID. I can't believe I wasn't on your vision board. That's so rude. <laughs> you, you weren't on the vision board as getting COVID? Because I didn't get COVID. Yeah. How have you avoided this, Tina? Oh, you know what? There's the study that hot people don't get COVID. I saw that on your oh, girlfriend's yeah. Instagram. Yeah, I found out about it because my girlfriend posted it when she didn't have COVID. <laughs> and I did. She was... Wait, does she have it now? Or she does, still no? She does have it now. Oh, yeah. okay. Which is bad for her, but very exciting for me. Because we were like sleeping in masks. And then the minute she got COVID, I was like, Whoa. fuck this. Whoa. Like, Wait, get so over here. <laughs> sorry, I want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk about you slept wearing masks. Yeah. Are you in the same bed? Why don't you just like one on the couch? Yeah. Honestly, okay, this is a bad reason, but we ran out of bedding and we didn't feel like doing laundry. And now your girlfriend has COVID. <laughs> 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 it was menial tasks oh that led to her having COVID. I mean, also, mm. I started getting mm. sick on Monday, but I had just gotten a negative PCR on Sunday. So right, yeah. I was like, it must be something else. Because there's been a million times at this point I've had COVID scares and then thought there's no – and then I tested there's and no it's way. negative. Yeah. And then I took a little rapid test, and it was the only time I've ever expected it to be negative. I was like, I'm going to pull yeah. out the one line like I always do, and then I see the two lines. I'm like, one line. I am yep. pregnant. Aww. <laughs> You're expecting a little virus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to call her. Virusa. She's a girl. <laughs> it's, a it's a beautiful name for yeah. a girl. <laughs> Virusa? Yeah, I think it is, actually. Virusa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And COVID's kind of a nice name for a boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. actually. It's we... short for COVIDcent. Are yes. you going to have, like, a virus reveal party? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I think you should plan that. I think you'd be good. I think that'd be good. Yeah. Everybody gets a test. You take out of bread, out of a chicken, and then you <laughs> get a strip so that reveals if you're COVID positive or negative. <laughs> the reveal is positive. Everybody has to leave right now. Yeah. 
Why is it in a chicken? <laughs> because that's what your gender reveal was. Tina had a gender reveal oh, that's party. True. Did you, you forget your own that party? That is so funny. <laughs> okay, in my defense, that was my friend Jenny. Uh, thank you, Lucas. <laughs> my friend Jenny did that, um, which is very funny. My friend Jenny put a chicken in a bread. But it was vegan. But it was vegan. Yeah. And actually, what's so funny is there's a video of when we do the reveal and we cut into the piece of bread mm -hmm. and you see this chicken and there's someone in the background that just goes, <laughs> is that a fetus? <laughs> just a paid actor. <laughs> just a paid actor we placed. <laughs> but they, it's important to note, they don't sound disgusted. They sound intrigued. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that a fetus? <laughs> They're like, science is amazing. Science is crazy. And these two girls, they got it down. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Have you guys been raising your chicken ever since that fateful day? Yeah, we have. Someone actually brought to the party like a lesbian co-parenting book. So Aww. yeah, very cute. Every day we open it up, we read a new chapter. Oh, do you read it to it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're like, you're going to co-parent someday too. <laughs> I know about the lesbian co-parenting book because my girlfriend was reading it in the corner at one point. Oh. <laughs> in her black turtleneck, just by herself, d d drinking a little like white claw and reading the lesbian co-parenting uh, You guys book. should borrow it. It's great reading material. Mm. No, that's okay. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in co-parenting. I believe in one person parents and the other one watches. Mm. <laughs> the other one just drinks in the corner. <laughs> Just like how during sex, one person comes and one person doesn't. Exactly. And one person watches. Yeah. <laughs> one person comes, so one said. person watches. <laughs> Three people watch, actually. That's how I do it. Yeah. It's like ancient Greek theater. Is just, it's just a one big, like, mm. uh, just watch everyone get naked. And yeah, that's how theater began. I'm a theater major. How are you doing? <laughs> Is it ever not obvious to someone that you were a theater major? I feel like it's one of those unspoken, beautiful things about I would you. have never guessed. Tina. Well, you... I wouldn't have. What would but you here's have... what's important. Is okay. I met Lucas. Um, the first time I met you, you came to a show yes. uh, through another comic I knew. I didn't yes. know you. Through Chris. through Chris. Through Chris. I assumed Chris was just trying to get her and her friend in for free. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, I theater theater major never on my mind. <laughs> oh, okay. But can I say like Lee Lan, who was uh, on the podcast very recently, um, she she said a number of times how surprising it is that I was a theater major. I think she's from China, so she doesn't know what American <laughs> theater majors are like. Oh no, she actually is from China. That was a great guess. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine I was guessing? <laughs> I think she's probably from China. If it's I had just to, a wild guess, yeah. If I had to guess from like what she's told me, I yeah, say maybe. I think it's a clue, yeah. Also, Tina, why are you surprised that a theater major is trying to get in somewhere for free? Especially I guess that's a to that's Pine a Box point, Rock actually. Shop, where you have your to iconically Pine Box Rock Shop. Yes. Okay, well, let me ask: Why do you think Lucas gives off theater major energy? Mm. Because he gives off the energy of the one straight male in the theater class who somehow canonically to the rest of the world is gay, but is not gay enough to, for the other theater majors to consider him gay. Mm. It's a okay. deep... And, I've, I've that had actually, a, yeah, that I'm buying that. I'm back on your side. Okay. I've had two I'm years also of podcasting side, yeah. to think about this. Yeah, And it's yeah, all yeah. I've thought about my whole two years. Never another <laughs> thought in my head. Wait, Gabby, You're wait. Dedicated. What was your major in college? I actually don't. Yeah, weren't you also a theater major? Were you also a theater major at no, Hunter? No, or... wasn't. Yeah, no. Because I know you were a theater kid in high school. Biology. I know that for sure. But I, I was, and at summer camp. I was an iconic theater kid at summer camp. I had the lead role oh, yeah. in everything. And then at LaGuardia, I was Good like nobody. I But then Aww. I'd go to summer camp, and I'd be like amazing. In college, okay. I was a creative writing major and sociology double major. That's hot. Okay. It is a Don't, lot. That's a real... That's no, a I real... said that's hot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said that's a lot. I was like, yeah. It's also a lot. And that's that's so cool. That and that's what's hot about it. Yeah. that it's. And that's what's mm. hot about it is you're someone who can do it all. I can. I can do English, sociology, podcasting. That's really about it, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't make your girlfriend come though. That's that's one thing you got to work Who on. Can, but you though. can. <laughs> <laughs> I can when I'm done watching because I'm one of the people in the corner. We're just watching. Yeah. You love to watch. I do. I'm, I'm uh, the spectator sees more of the game. That's what I always say. <laughs> to go to go back to your original thought, I think Greek theater would have been really cool to watch. Yeah. I, oh, I would. Yeah. I, it would be. I would love to go. I genuinely I would love to go back in time and see like an original Shakespeare play at like the original Globe Theater and to see like an original greek play even though i don't speak the language it would be it would be fun to see you said that like it's like a plan you're gonna make you said that this, oh yeah 100 percent. you said that that's the on same my vision way. board <laughs> that's yeah and we know the vision board works yeah exactly you said that the same way you'd be like i'd love to get the magnolia banana pudding again sometime you're like i'd genuinely i'd love to go to the greek Colosseum. is that what it's called sorry i was just thinking of magnolia banana pudding and i was just like because <sighs> I, I hate bananas you don't like their banana pudding? I've never had no. I've never had it. No, I I don't it's like really banana good. anything. I can't. I cannot stand bananas. What? what? Yeah. What are I. You, what are you racist? Yes, <laughs> deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like what they do to our community. Did you, I don't. Did you slip on one one time? <laughs> <laughs> no. What it was is that when I was uh like seven or eight years old. Like, before then, I loved eating bananas. I ate them all the time. And then I just started eating a banana, and I was like, this is gross. It just my taste changed, and I just never liked a banana after that. And you can pinpoint the exact moment your taste changed. It was vivid. That's kind of, that's great, actually. Yeah. Do you have any opinions, Tina, on anything? Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, why are you coming for me like this? Because <laughs> you're in my chair. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm so sorry, Gabby. <laughs> you're the you're the only guest can to I ever go, sit there. Can I go live on air right now? We're live, right? We're we're I'm, live. I'm gonna go live and say I'm so sorry. I didn't do a notes app apology yet, but I will. <laughs> I cannot believe Just do a I'm copy sitting pasta. in your chair. Yeah, you should copy pasta my notes or whatever apology it was from when I got canceled for that anti bisexual tweet. <laughs> it Are wasn't you, even I'm sorry it wasn't actually anti-bisexual but whatever <laughs> it should have been it should have been and that's where you went wrong it wasn't positive or negative it was lateral bisexual that's what it was lateral bisexual that's Tina yeah what yeah. is lateral bisexual well you know just like a lateral move where it's just like it's not you don't go up or down it's just like yeah. I was thinking like a lateral flow test so it's not oh. an accurate bisexual. That's that I like that. Are you saying I'm not a bisexual? I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> hey, why stop twisting Gabby's words, all right? I'm Let's trying to on. get you canceled again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's on my vision board. <laughs> Everyone knows when you get canceled once, you can never get canceled again. Yeah. You Cancel me immune. once. Shame on me. <laughs> Cancel me twice. You've you've done a miracle. <laughs> Cancel me twice. Thank you. <laughs> the Mary Curie of canceling did it twice. <laughs> there was a moment I was like, "Oh yeah, she did it twice." Mm. Good oh, for yeah. her. Mm. Can she got canceled cure? for physics? Cancel for chemistry. She does it all. Can she Girl cure boss. my? Can she cure That's my boss. COVID? Ah, oh. <laughs> Nice. Nice. No, but she wants to ask you to marry her. <laughs> was she gay? I feel like she was. No, I don't think mm. she was. Let's, they never are. They never are. The good ones. No one ever is. No, yeah, no one no ever one. is. No one's gay these days. Not me, not you, not Gabby. We're no all one. straight these exactly. days. I'm sorry, you guys are meaning to tell me this woman is not gay? <laughs> is that a cross around her neck? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but come on. <laughs> the aesthetic. Come on. I mean, so, I mean, listen, Gabby, say what you will about straight people, but they can also be hot. Like, just because she's a, a hot woman in STEM yeah, doesn't mean she's gay. <laughs> she's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she's she kind of looks, looks like Yul Brynner. Did you? 
<laughs> Did you ever see that? Uh, he was in like the Magnificent Seven. He's an old timey actor. <laughs> I don't know who this man is. Hold on, let me pull it up. Pull it up, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> Jamie, can you pull that up? Do you know about Joe Rogan, Tina? Do have I you, know like just? Have you general? heard of her work? Jo- <laughs> have you heard of Joe? Joe Rogan. He's he's my friend. Jo- yeah, Joey. This is Yul Brynner. I think. Oh my! He does look like Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, I was saying that <laughs> this is what like Marie Curie looks like, but without hair. Just a. Li- <laughs> oh yeah! If you did one of those online transformations, you'd like take. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Face mm. app. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Or I was even thinking like the, yeah. the stuff from the '90s, like remember the dolls? You know the dolls. What? Wait, what dolls? What dolls? Like American Girl dolls? No, like online. Brats? No. <laughs> Fuck. Polly <laughs> Pocket. <laughs> Listen, I I could talk dolls all day. <laughs> what kind of dolls? Well, what were your favorite dolls? And I'll pull up the dolls I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Talk about your dolls. What What do you like? Um, I loved Bratz dolls because they okay. were. I was like, okay. All the other dolls, so innocent, so sweet. Brass dolls, you were like, they're up to something. Mm. These something. these what dolls. They? Oh, what the hell? Who are they? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> they were they were like, oh, by the way, the when you click the link, it just says Pinterest. I'm getting old. So they were like they were like in the '90s. They were like one of the first like internet dolls, and you could customize them. Oh, so it was just Whoa. like an online thing just so you could just dress them up. That was what you did. Yeah. You could that is them. most dolls, I'll say. That is true. That's kind of the, the, the doll thing. Wait, can... could, you make, could you make them do anything? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> could you like put them in a car and send and like drive or whatever? Lucas, you know? I, ca- I can't say it was. Gabby, did you make your Barbies have sex? <laughs> exactly. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I didn't. They were scissoring. But, but, but no, it's better. You make your stuffed animals have sex with me yeah <laughs> it was better than that we had a barbie doll a ma- a ken doll we had a we had a boy ken doll and uh he was naked and he had like really mm. fucked up hair and all of our barbie dolls were clothed and they were like badass women and our ken doll they had careers they had careers they were girl, they had careers they were girl bosses okay our ken doll we named him sick man and yeah. he would walk up to Barbies and be like, hey, what's up? And they'd go, not today, sick man, you're disgusting. And then they would beat the shit out of him. And my sister and I, we would like throw him all over the living room. We would like thrash him down. This idea was that he was like some kind of serial predator in the Barbie community. <laughs> we were like murdering him. <laughs> Such early girl bossery from us. I don't want to psychologically analyze it at all. <laughs> Whoa! I love the idea that wow. you and your sister were just like Jason Statham. We were like, we need to, we need to, <laughs> we need to get rid of the predators. Just... Yeah. Oh, oh, and one time we did, uh, we did hang a Barbie doll down from like our window so that people walking down the street would just see a Barbie doll and like freak out and run away. But it didn't really oh. work. <laughs> Because it was New York, people were just like entertained. They were like, "That's funny." Oh, I, yeah, and I think pe- I mean, people know what a Barbie doll is. Yeah. Wait, did you think? Wait, did you and your sister think that people on the street would think it was a person? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be so stupid. <laughs> like, oh my God, are they okay? He needs our help. That <laughs> tiny, tiny sick man. <laughs> The thing is, like, if I was little, I probably would have thought, like, oh, it's far away. They'll probably think it's real. I probably would have thought that. Maybe. I don't think so. I think we were just, like, we would, like, we would put it on a string and, and make it go really, really low onto the sidewalk. So if people were walking, oh. they, might get, they might get, like, bumped in the head by it. But it wouldn't, like, hurt anyone. They would just be, That's like, kinda... what the fuck? <laughs> it's like Mission Impossible, just, like, lowering Tom <laughs> I got my period during Mission Impossible 3 when I was 12. Whoa. Whoa. It was really embarrassing. During a fight scene? During the whole movie, baby. And I did wow. not wear enough uh, things to cover it up. And I was with my boy <laughs> best friend. Things, oh. yeah. You know, the, the items. The things. Mm. The things. You're familiar, Tina, with the items? The I- Yeah, absolutely. Mm. The stuff. 
Do you have them on your vision board? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. You just walked out of there. I can't I believe just, you've I... never heard. You just walked out? Oh, of Mission Impossible 3. I mean, I didn't realize until the very end of Mission Impossible 3. And then I went oh. and I stood online in the bathroom and I was like, that movie was so crazy, huh? And my friend didn't say a word to me the whole time. And then I went in the bathroom and I was like, everyone can see that I Aww. was bleeding during Mission Impossible 3. Which for some so reason, you... the movie makes it more embarrassing. That if it was The Incredibles 1, I wouldn't have minded. Yeah, but the fact that it's Mission Impossible... <laughs> Wait, the fact that you didn't notice, does that mean that your period was a bit like Ghost Protocol? <laughs> Gabby, I think the good thing about not being here in person is you don't have to look Lucas in the eye after he says something like that. <laughs> Tina, paint a picture of it for me. What's it like to watch <clears throat> Lucas bomb from my normal mm. vantage point? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do? Um, I uh, <laughs> I, I sent the mental so attack. <laughs> You're like a Pokemon. <laughs> Lucas used confuse ray. Yeah. It is super effective. Uh, well, you know, I like this you've joke. Been here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually haven't seen Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol. I just thought of the title. Yeah. I haven't actually seen the movie. I've no I haven't idea seen about. any Mission Impossibles except for three. Wow. Whoa, you dove right in. Damn. And three was really good. Is, Mission Impos- is this Tom it- Cruise? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Jonathan Reese Myers was in it. I forget who else. Um, I, oh, I don't remember anyone else from the movie. No. I got nothing. Do you remember? I don't think I've seen any of these. No, yeah, no, but just like names of people that were in it. You know, you know everyone that was in Kristen the movie. Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. She was in it. Who else, Tina? Yeah, she was um, Colin Jost. Colin I'm naming jo- SNL. <laughs> <laughs> they starred in the movie, right? Yeah. Kyle Mooney. Kyle yeah. Mooney. is. It was honestly a great cast. <laughs> What's her name? Kate McKinnon? Really, Kate yeah, McKinnon. Kate McKinnon. Really McKinnon. Yeah, she did an impression of Justin Bieber just all the way through the movie. Yeah, yeah and, and that's why Justin Bieber was also in it. Yeah. As By Kate proxy. McKinnon. As Kate McKinnon. As Kate McKinnon, yeah. Tina, do you think Kate McKinnon is hot? I think um, I'm very attracted to absolute freaks, and Kate McKinnon is a freak in a great way. Does it change your mind when you know that she dated Barry Weiss? I've heard this, yeah, and it does. It does. (laughs) And this is the thing. People people need to stop telling me these things. (laughs) Like, we we have so little in this world. I don't know why everyone's always trying to take away. <laughs> like, let me be attracted to Kate McKinnon if I want to. You know? You know, Gabby? Okay, I'm sorry. She never dated Barry's own wife. I love the idea that Kate McKinnon at one point in college d- dates Barry Weiss, and now she's just soiled in your mind. She's... And- Ruined goods. <laughs> it's true. And there was a point in time where I didn't know that fact. And then someone yeah. had to tell me. Probably you, Gabby. Probably <laughs> <laughs> was me. Because you it's my Kate McKinnon for her. It's my 9-11. And oh I grew God. up okay. in New York around 9-11. <laughs> I was 20 minutes from the towers and Kate McKinnon dating Barry Weiss was my 9-11. <laughs> Gabby, I have um one of my dearest friends from growing up. She lost her grandmother. Uh, on uh, on 911 she was in one of the towers and she says ugh that was my finding out that Kate McKinnon dated Barry Weiss <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> well i'm going to go to FEMA and get some uh emergency money for mm. finding out that Barry Weiss dated Kate McKinnon who do you think asked who out i feel like Barry asked her out and Kate was That's like, a good question. you're a Zionist, yeah. but I'm in college and no one else is gay. Fine. And it, well, she was like, I'm experimenting. It's mm. fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think, I think, ooh, I think maybe uh, Kate McKinnon asked out Barry Weiss. I think that's what happened. Are you just saying that because you hate lesbians? 
No, no, no. I don't think and they love exist. Zionists. That's the thing. I don't. <laughs> oh, I just. They I don't right. exist in my no, mind. No, just they don't exist. I don't know why you guys bring it up all the time. Um, <laughs> You're like who? Who? <laughs> Me and who? <laughs> She's a. W- oh, please, two women? No, oh, no. No way. <laughs> no way. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Those bits don't line up. <laughs> they don't. No, I think I think that uh, Kate McKinnon probably has a uh, much more. Uh, I don't know if the word like is aggressive, but like I think she would have uh, been the initiator. I think that she has that energy more than I think Barry White totally. does. Totally, and that's what makes her hot. Oh, She's yeah, got top sure. energy. She that's totally it. has top energy, and Barry White yeah. has this like, like soggy bottom energy. Not every bottom is a soggy bottom, obviously, but she Barry White <laughs> looks like she just lays there in a way that's worse than a pillow princess. She's like, like. Just <laughs> haunting <out>. you. <laughs> oh, wait, just do that. <laughs> I hate her. She's my tether. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> She's who I could be if everything in my life went wrong. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, Tina, do you think do you have a tether? Who do you think was is your tether in the world? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not prepared for this. Uh who is yours? Oh, I think maybe me, if everything went wrong, uh, Troy Sivan. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, but he's, I kind of like him. Like, sure, he's, I, he's besides corny. Besides X-Men Origins Wolverine, I have no idea what Troy Sivan has done. Not a clue. He's a singer. A par- a, I was going to say, what did he do in X-Men? He's a singer. He was, he was Wolverine as a kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> he was. Yeah. Oh, calm down. <laughs> Yo, why don't you know all the superhero movie? No. I also like that you pointed to him as someone who, like, you were if everyone went wrong, and then you went on to defend all of his accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'm, he's a really good guy. Tina, yeah. You don't fucking know this guy. He's, he's an genius. upstanding American. <laughs> he's actually he's Australian. He's an alpha. Uh, he's an Australian. <laughs> that's oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> Mine would be Pete Buttigieg. I think Whoa. if everything went wrong, that's who I would be. Is wow. it because you're both Midwestern gays? Is Minnesota in the West? Midwest? Midwest, yeah, absolutely. And that, that's why, yeah. Okay, if I I went to college with a lot of like native Chicago people, and they probably would say Minnesota, definitely not in the Midwest. I'm I for sure that's what they would you say. You just made that up. Name another region you would put it in. It's It's literally right above... I'd put it up your butt. I would, <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, I would put it Thank on you. my G spot. My um, <laughs> that's the area I would put it in. Um, no, I would say in my mind that's just like the north. That's just like the northernmost oh, okay. of the continental uh, U.S. In the middle of the country, though, right? Yeah, like it's not northeast, and it's not know. northwest. No, it's just it's its, it's own thing. Mid. Yeah, it's a non-binary <laughs> state. <laughs> I think what Tina's saying is that it is the Midwest, undisputably. Listen, I'm not a geography teacher. (laughs) I just host this podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not a geography teacher. I just look like one. Yeah, Yeah, I just... Okay. (laughs) Oh, shots fired. It's It's okay to look like a geography teacher. You look like a beautiful geography teacher. You know, geography teachers can be hot. Yes. I'll say. I had a very hot geology teacher. Whoa. Geology teachers, I think, always hot. I think almost always hot. Do you They're f- out there looking at rocks. Oh, yeah. Getting hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Do you have firsthand experience with this? I had a hot geology teacher, yeah. <laughs> I never took geology. I never took geology. Mm. I took geology because we had to take a lab science, mm-hmm. and it was the easiest one. Okay. Because you know you're not running experiments. You're yeah. You're yeah. looking at rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I took it too. That's the only yeah. reason. I never, I never took earth science either. Didn't have, I didn't have any of that. I had like chemistry, physics, and I don't remember what other science classes I took in high school. Not a clue. Tina, do you? We've asked our some of our guests oh, this man. before. Do you have a professor fantasy, or did you have one Ooh. in college? Like, do I want to grow up and be a professor? Or, like, do I want to yes. hook up no, with a professor? Well. <laughs> that as well. You're free to answer that. But I meant, did you have a fantasy about, like, having relations with a professor? Uh, yes. That's, 
a good question. Let me scroll back in my memory. Mm. I actually one time did go on one date with a professor. Ooh. I wasn't in college at the time, so it didn't. How uh, how long ago was this? You were like, uh, I was in high school. This was during quarantine, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I am before the date, it didn't go well. But before the date, I did scroll through a... You know how sometimes you you are like, I'm going on a date with this type of person. I'm going to try and prepare. I mm. I read, I legitimately picked up a dictionary and was like, oh, paging through it. <laughs> that's kind of, that's adorable. <laughs> I think that's picked really sweet. Dictionary. <laughs> I picked up a dictionary. <laughs> and you Wait, just was it read Webster's words. Webster's? And I was like, let me see. <laughs> what would impress this woman? <laughs> yeah. Webster's dictionary defines love as something that is happening on this date. <laughs> Webster's dictionary defines love as love. <laughs> Webster's love dictionary love. defines beauty as the person sitting across from me. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Webster's dictionary wonders if it hurt when you fell from heaven. <laughs> Is that your pickup line? Have you used yeah, that before? Yeah, that I've always, I always use that consistently. Even with the Webster's Dictionary, I didn't even know that bit was happening, yeah. and I always, I always carry a full dictionary on me for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the big one too, big bound leather. Yeah, huge. My backpack is so heavy. That's why I have back problems. It's not my boots. Yes. <laughs> it's my, it's my, it's my giant eight hundred pound backpack from carrying all the yeah. dictionaries with me. Yeah, you've got triple D books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that's why your brain is so big, too. Exactly. My brain is huge. Everyone knows this about me. Yeah. Indeed. So wait, wait. Um, so I want to ask you as well. Um, do you remember, because oh, we've asked this like a few times on the podcast, but do you remember like the first time you were ever attracted to someone on screen, like on TV or film, like when you were little, like first time, like your sexual awakening? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Um, I was just talking about someone with this, actually. I think... Um, Growing up, any, like, women's soccer movie, Ooh. I loved. I was so attracted to every, like, uh, Amanda Bynes, She's the Man. Mm -hmm. um, what, Kicking? No, nope. Bend It Like Beckham. Great um, one. Keira Knightley. Um, there was this one, I think called Grace or something. It was a blonde woman who is very sad. It was very sad, <laughs> but it was soccer. <laughs> So, so you it. mean just a blonde woman? Uh, yeah, who hey. was playing soccer. <laughs> I think she missed a penalty kick or something, and it was like, Aww. that sucks. That's so sad. <laughs> it was Aww. really sad. <laughs> How like old when were you, you? Do you remember the first time you were like uh, watching one of these? Mm. Like when that made like a first impact on you? I'm curious. I couldn't give you an exact age. Okay. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Yeah. Eight? Okay. Let's say eight. You Is sick that too young? fuck. I know. Is yeah. that too young? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I think Kira Knightley though has someone said Kira Knightley before. I don't know if someone has said Kira Knightley before. That's crazy. Who are you? Who are we having on our podcast? Yeah, <laughs> I definitely was attracted to her when I was little. Like in Pirates of the Caribbean, she was beautiful. Stunning. Was, oh yeah, so stunning. Gorgeous. Pirates of the Caribbean was amazing. Oh yeah. What a chaotic movie! I want to watch them again, actually. Oh, I'd love to rewatch those as well. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that on another movie night. Uh, besides uh, Lord of the Rings, we'll do that on another movie night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we oh, were yeah. all supposed to get together and watch Lord of the Rings together because I've never seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But someone had to be either. a little beta cuck and get COVID. Ugh. I know, which we all know is a personal failure on my part. And a personal choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My notes app apology impending. I am listening, learning, and striving. You gotta stop. <laughs> I have taken accountability. I am now going to have 90 days of immunity to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How are you feeling? Seriously. Uh how's uh Yeah, but no, I don't on a real note. On a We're real so note, uh, how are you feeling? I hope it's not good. Yeah, Please. enough of these fucking games. Well, uh, unfortunately for you both, I am feeling on top of the world. I feel good. I feel fine. I, I think okay. my worst day was Monday, and then slowly things started getting better. I think now I'm a cough occasionally, but mostly I just have a sore throat. The thing okay. that really scared me was last night I was eating some really old baked ziti, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I think I'm losing smell and taste. And then I immediately went to taste something else and I could taste it. And Sylvie was like, I think that pasta is just bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but Sylvie also has COVID. Yeah. Yeah, she does. And she has you no need taste. Control. Oh, she is that oh. real? No, no, no. She just has that no was, taste. Oh, though. okay. She has no that taste in women. Joke. She has taste. Hey. <laughs> Honestly. She can only taste baked ziti. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my pussy tastes like. <laughs> you know I can't say that word? <laughs> No, I think we all can tell that you can't say that word. Wait, take another, take another stab at it. Do it again. Bussy. Yeah. Bussy. bussy? Uh, are we talking about bussy now? Bussy. Um, Wait, hate, this is fascinating. I hate saying it. Do you, you hate women or you just hate the word? Obviously, I hate. B- women. And be honest. I think you can hate both. <laughs> I think you can hate both. I think that's okay. I'm so tr- in today's world. You're like, you hate women, don't lie, as if I'm going to be like, well, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I love them. <laughs> as if misogynists operate in a realm of truth, like, hmm, all right, I'm going to finally be honest about it. Uh, this is my yeah. personal I mean, feeling. it's not International Women's Day anymore. You can say it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound We're like just... a, a gay guy telling me it's okay to say the F slur. <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> No, you can say it. I'm I'm telling you, you can you can say F A G. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Tina, for permission. Can I say the T slur, Tina? Oh Tina, yeah. Yeah, you roasted. can say Tina. Yeah. Uh, uh, roasted. Roasted. <laughs> you Boom. got me. Roasted. <laughs> oh. Roasted yeah, yeah. at Grove No, but for real, 34. I just want to go on the record and say I love gay men. What? I just wanted to set the record straight. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to set well straight, but you're saying you love gay men. Okay, you're saying two different things right now. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Are you are you having a stroke? How am I doing for you guys as a guest? You're, Can you- I take a poll? <laughs> this is something I noticed. A lot of guests come on the podcast, and they do they do not care about you guys. They are not asking for feedback. <laughs> they are not trying to get better. I'm here, and I'm asking. Tell you what, what I think I, do I think we should guys? take a pause and go out onto the street and say, "Hey, how do you think Tina's doing right now?" And I would love that. Let's I just take, take this podcast on the road. I take my camera and my laptop and everything. It's super cumbersome. I'm like, "Hey, what do you think, Tina?" I think you guys want more views or not? <laughs> They'd be like, "Well, she's not holding your equipment for you. You're like covered yeah. in equipment, head to toe." Yeah, yeah. I'm like Dick Van Dyke at the beginning of Mary Poppins. Oh my God, Mary Poppins is so good. Hmm. I, should I thought watch you were Mary- about to say Mary Poppins is so gay. I Mary, thought- <laughs> Mary Poppins is so gay. She and I hooked she up. Uses last an year. umbrella. That's gay. Like- <laughs> a bag full of stuff. That's very gay. That's so gay. Yeah. It's bigger on the inside. So gay. So gay. Very gay. Are Are you into Mary Poppins, Tina? Do you think she's hot? Um, I like can't picture Mary Poppins. Can someone describe her for me? I mean, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> she's like this woman with a umbrella yeah. okay first off she's got a, she's got a big old snout very uh very and it's covered in fur and uh oh. she's got horns i'll stop you right there I'm, yeah yeah she's hot oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is her yeah there's there's the snout yeah oh, right sure, there yeah yeah she walks up to me at a bar you do I'd, it yeah i'd buy it yeah i'd way buy too, her a drink way too put together to be straight i'll say it for sure yeah that's true She's yeah. got a bow tie that's like perfectly even. Yeah. Yeah. She's well coiffed. Tina, I think you're doing great mm-hmm. as a guest. How do you feel like you're doing? Oh, uh, thank you. Are you? Yeah. Int- no, I just wanted to check in because I was like, you know, I really care about you guys. And I was like, I want to make sure if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard something so nice be so disingenuous. <laughs> that's Tina, though. <laughs> She's always like, can I get you anything? And you know she doesn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually such a problem in my life is when I am genuine, yeah. no one believes me. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to corroborate that. <laughs> you do have a serious I, sense of mischief. <laughs> you always you always have um, a little bit of like, you know how like when George Bush talked, it sounded like he always had a joke in the back of his head that he wanted to tell you, but he feel it, but he... It, he didn't look like he could. That's what you're like just a little bit. You always I'm seem like you have a joke George in the back Bush. of your head that you're not going to let. You're anyone. saying Tina is George Bush. I am. Yeah. That's insulting. <laughs> I'm hotter. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you paint. Yes. I paint. 
No. I could. Should I pick up painting? Yeah, you should paint. Uh, what does he paint now? Goats? Or no, he, he was. Uh, he he was painted himself the in the shower. Of... Did he? He painted wanna... himself in the shower. It was, it was really funny because you see like there's a little bit of a mirror where you could see the reflection of his eyes and it looks it looks kind of like Creepy. a like a seventh grader drew it <laughs> just a little bit it's really sweet george bush painting in the shower oh i see it okay but yeah he, he didn't have there to it is. make himself look buff like that there's no, no way i think anytime it... you're doing a his self back portrait, kinda... you do have to make yourself look kind of looks like he has boobs really on his good. back <laughs> That's how I like them. Four boobs. Yeah. Well, Why should you have... not on the front? Yeah, no. Yeah, it could just be two on the back, Gabby. Yeah, exactly. Why, why shouldn't there be four? Why should I have to turn you around to find the boobs? That's too much work for me. <laughs> I love that someone's already putting their back to you. Yeah. <laughs> they just already... <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to look me in the eye. <laughs> I love the idea that it's like an insurmountable struggle for me. I'm like, where are the boobs? Your back is to me. I can't find them. Stop turning around. This is torture. <laughs> you ever have that problem, Lucas? I've uh, many a time. And let me tell you, I if I if I could put boobs anywhere else on the body, so they're in front, but put them anywhere else, I would go either on the back, on the shoulder blades, or on uh, the underside of the knee. That's where I would put them. That's where I would. That's what I would do. Oh yeah, <laughs> underside of the Tina knee. Tina is avoiding underside your gaze. <laughs> <laughs> what well, Tina? Where would you? I put was boobs checking instead? my knee to make sure I don't have one there. <laughs> It's like watching Jackass where you see like they're like they get a nut shot and you go, ooh, like you just you automatically go, Oh wait, please don't tell me that I have boobs yeah. under my knees. Yeah. I think Jackass was so fun for me because I I am I I don't wanna say I'm not capable of empathy, but every time <laughs> Any sense of this? Look, I don't wanna say I'm a sociopath. Yeah. I wanna I to be clear, I am an empathetic person, but I Would you say you're an empath? I think I really enjoyed watching yeah. people get hit in the balls because I was like, I feel nothing. <laughs> like I can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> but when they went after someone's nipples, I was like, Oh Oh yeah. Yeah. That got me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nipple twisting always looked kind of painful to me. Hey. Ew. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Wasn't there a, a snake that bit someone on the on the nipple? I think someone got a snake bite. I also think at one point, like, a scorpion was on someone's nipple. Yes, that is and true. And it didn't it was... bite her, but I was like, Ooh. Scorpion Botox. It bit her face. Scorpion right. Botox. It was on the lip. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so... I couldn't believe she did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no. wait, wait, Tina, I want to ask, uh, where would you put boobs elsewhere on the body? <laughs> if you could pick anywhere else. If I could pick anywhere. I think it's a good question. A yeah, Gabby, question, you got a like problem this. with the question? Yeah. Well, well, I'm off, sorry. It's not my podcast, so I I can't have a problem yeah. with it. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you for finally acknowledging that. Yes. <laughs> First off, if I were gonna change like boobs structurally, oh okay. And this is my this is this is just a thought. This is just a suggestion. All square. <laughs> All square yeah. USB port instead of nipples, <laughs> and I that's been on my vision board for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would it be for uh, charging or data transfer? What would you be? Well, it's a USB port. That's the whole. You, you could do either. Oh. You okay. could do either. Imagine oh. someone's like, I gotta charge my phone, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> for, for those of you li uh, listening and not watching, I took my shirt off. <laughs> 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 and I had another shirt on underneath. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let's switch a room. <laughs> So your boobs are basically just a power source at that point. I mean, yeah. yeah, I think that's hot. So I think hot. that'd be cool. <laughs> but they're still on your boobs. Mm -hmm. The question yeah. was, where else on your body would they go? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. same yeah, place, I, just completely I took the question different and function. I broadened it. <laughs> you did. And I said, what if we made boobs better in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we we're living in the future, Gabby. Yes. <laughs> that's one thing about you, Tina, always pushing me on below. Never satisfied. Yes. Elizabeth okay, Holmes okay. could never. You're like the, the shoulder. Are you you're happy? You're like the Elon Musk of boobs because you just see so far in the future. And you guys are just catching up to me. We're playing catch up and we're we're falling behind. We're we're falling behind. Gabby, how would you restructure and or uh, move around boobs? What would you do with them? 
Okay, the whole body is now boobs, except for boobs, which become two faces. Two Whoa. different. Do two the different? faces have like two different minds, or it's? Yes, <laughs> and they're <One>. constantly <laughs> fighting. <laughs> That's fun. That's I really like that. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Remember Cat Dog? It's like that. Oh my god. That they should make that the new uh, like Marshmallow Michelin Man. Like, oh, really big. Ooh. Just conjoined twins with a body f- complete of with boobs. boobs. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You could that. be in the the next Ghostbusters they make. Oh. Assuming Ooh. you're this new thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to mutate into it first. That's the only way yeah. I'm going to be successful. No, it, Gabby, yeah. it's yours and mine. We're the faces on the, the boob monster. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. There's been a surprising change. Uh... <laughs> In our physical forms. <laughs> Dare I say worrying. Um. <laughs> Dare I say we are in the hospital trying to sort it out because <laughs> no one knows what's happening to us. Um, all I know is we are now the thing we used to like the most. And now I can't say we like them very much at all. <laughs> Wait, no, but you're you're an ass man. You're not a boobs man. I do love we, a we, good butt. Really? Are you, are you yeah. a boobs guy or an ass guy, Tina? We've. I know the answer to this. Okay, Lucas. Well, because we, we, because you, you told us. Once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, speak for me, Lucas. Yeah, uh, I, I speak for women. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a boobs man right here that I'm. Oh sitting next yeah, to. you this, did tell us. This also, that's is why. A boobs I, man. That's why I get texts from you all the time that are just like, I like your boobs. No context. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, context. It's on someone else's phone usually. <laughs> 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 I never text that from my own phone. Because <laughs> paper trails. It's always the most <laughs> unexpected people too. <laughs> Yeah, and if you think that's funny, you should see the look in their eyes when I hand the phone back to them. <laughs> they read what I said. <laughs> I, I, what was the look in my eyes when you did that on my phone? What did I look? Just like? disbelief. You were like, <laughs> and then I think you registered that I did sign my name, and you were like, yeah. okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There's always a moment of silence though. Just a moment where I was like, oh fuck, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they're gonna start coming from weird corners of the world, like. Verizon? You're gonna start getting it from yeah from numbers you don't have saved as contacts. Yep. <laughs> My acupuncturist. <laughs> yeah. So wait. So Gabby, are you also are you gonna join the club and be a fellow boobs man or yeah? Why what, not? Boobs, what are you, Gabby? What are you? It's not mutually exclusive, babe. It's not that. No. Don't. No. 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 Choose, a side. Choose a side. Choose a side. We we want to be. <laughs> What if if you have one, you have to kill off the other? <laughs> <laughs> I like a woman where I don't have to choose. Mm. Mm. But choose. <laughs> yeah, but right, right here, right now. Right here, right now. I choose Make ass. Choice. Two v one. I'm being myself. I'm being true to myself. Love is love is love is love. And is that's love. what's wrong with you is you're being true to yourself. <laughs> If I, I hear should someone change. say love is love again. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the episode title. Love is love. Love, love is love. Love. This, love, this, is love, this, is love is love. Is love is love. love. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. And it's also like, I say this all the time, but like love is love. But like a lot of us are just fucking like I, <laughs> we are not also in love. <laughs> it's, it's an exclusive saying that I think goes against the message. But, 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 but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Mm. Love is love, but what is like, what is what you're doing? Hate. <laughs> <laughs> this is strictly hate. This is a. Uh... You go to bed with someone, you're like, I want you to know that hate is hate is hate is hate is hate. hate yeah, is, yeah, hate yeah, is, yeah, hate. yeah. And love is love. <laughs> that's real romance. Yeah. Love, is love, love is love, but that's separate. Wait, love love is love, my- but that's not what we're doing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> let me get my water bottle. You two talk amongst yourselves. No, you're not allowed. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? <gasps> Whoa. That was really rude. That what was Gabby rude. did just now. I'm, I'm astounded. Also, so when she gave us the hearts. Yeah. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> 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 Gabby just came on screen for those listening, just but with like a thermos upside down, just drinking it from like a, like a hamster with a bottle. 
Do I drink water weird? I've been told that I do. I don't think so. It was just so high that you had that you were holding the thermos. I was like, what? It was like a hamster. I love a good hamster. You ever go to, you ever go to, what's it called? Petco? And just check them out? Petco? Yeah, I check them out for dating. That's what I do. I, 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 I look them up and down. I think, oh, this is a quite a lady right here. That's that's what I do at Petco. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, don't oh. say anything. I want to see how far this goes. <laughs> hey, and then I say, listen, hate is hate. You want to get out of here? <laughs> and it works every time. <laughs> yeah. That's such Winning a good line. line. I don't yeah. know why, why I didn't think of that. Yeah. You want to get out of here? By the way, I'm Richard Gere. <laughs> <laughs> you want, yeah, you just say you want to get out of here. The person's like, uh... The person's like, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> do you have a do you have a pickup line, Gina? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know that I have a <laughs> I keep changing your question. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually answer. No, uh, do you know? I don't think I have a pickup line, but I have a pickup move, which is Ooh. where you like lean the hand. Uh, you know uh, what I'm saying? Wait, where do you lean it on? Like, if I can't do it because we're not facing the right way, but like, if if you're like, oh, we have to be facing each other. Well, and there would need to be a wall behind. Oh, so, oh, you lean it against the wall. And there you needs go, to like, be a very specific setup, yeah. Like, where you okay, like do okay. a like a yeah. Oh, oh you're would a, that work? You do a wall lean. You do a wall. I do a lean. wall lean, but it's 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 not annoying. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> if, if you take my word for it, it's it's it works. <laughs> Wait, do you just sort of like just gaze into uh, the person's eyes or uh, what do you do you say anything uh, or are you just like I mean, nature will take care of this? So just like, yeah, I guess it, you know, it depends. Okay. It really just starts off like that and then you kind of see where it goes. Okay. What are the right. extenuating circumstances it depends on? Mm. Um, you know, like have I showered that day? <laughs> Uh, you know what kind of what kind of where are we at? <laughs> where, are we, where are we at? What's the vibe? Are we at a bar? So are, are we at work? Like what's going on? <laughs> uh, what's the gender? Is it a chicken? What's the gender? <laughs> I don't know that I've ever used that move on a man, but I think it would work. It'd be kind of like a a, <laughs> a power move. Yeah. A power move. Yeah. It would be a power move. I thought you were gonna say I don't know if I've ever gone up to a man and said what's the gender. <laughs> <laughs> What's the gender? What are we feeling today? What are we feeling today, what are we you feeling, guys? Big boy. Everybody go around. <laughs> Everyone go around the room and say like, your feelings on gender. Yeah. Have you ever successfully had a pickup line work, either of you? No. No. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used. A line. I've never, like I've never work. used one genuinely where I was like, I've done like a jokey pickup line, but I've never like. Ha, like a genuine okay that's the coward's move yes. <laughs> be like oh just kidding it's a joke <laughs> oh, <laughs> i feel like they're yeah. a thing of the 90s they're a thing yeah, of the 90s not, yeah i feel like yeah it's it's more like can i buy you a drink now it's more like can i give you a good or service <laughs> I is that what you say can you give me a good or service <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think i remember once i said uh um did you uh did you fall from heaven uh, because your leg looks broken, do you want me to call like an ambulance? <laughs> like, I've said that before once. <laughs> did you did you fall from heaven? Uh, no, and then you pu- you like push her down to the ground. It's like, well, you feel like you did now. You, you fell yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very. Your abusive. shit looks really bad right now. You should like get some antiseptic on that or something. Yeah. <laughs> it just becomes like a really clinical conversation, and I just take it to. The absolute end. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Are you a registered nurse? The way you said antiseptic, I was like, this guy knows what he's talking about. When you say registered, what does that even mean? Uh, you take you know? glasses. <laughs> you know, I just feel like it's such a vague term. You know, it's like, who even is registered? Who, I mean. Sounds like you're doing your own research on the vaccine. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I just use ivermectin on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm taking the I'm taking the horse dewormer. Horses are yeah. really running out of worms right now since I got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, no, there's too many worms on horses. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're hogging it all. I always yeah. wondered about that. I was like, if people are taking horse dewormers, who's gonna deworm the horses? <laughs> Gotta do it by hand. <laughs> 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 One by one. What? <laughs> yeah. Two? You gotta pick them up one by one. Oh my god. 
I want to know who came up with that. What a genius. It was clearly mm. like a joke gone wrong, and then someone took it seriously. A yeah. lot of people took it seriously. <laughs> people yeah. take ivermectin still, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm- yeah, for sure. And people, like, swear by it. Absolutely. Actually, Gabby, that might have been a rumor. We started at a party one time. (laughs) (laughs) Along with Timothy Chalamet's downstairs. Along with Timothy Chalamet. (laughs) I I, I think I have an idea where Timothy Chalamet might be, actually, right now. uh, I'm sure you do as well, Tina. I think it might be in our uh, listener submissions. Oh. That Timothy Chalamet might be. What are the listeners asking... Lucas and me, Tina, this week. Timothy Chalamet is asking, how do I be like you? Um, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, wait. Okay, here we are. I've got uh, I've got one pulled up. Uh, oh, wait, actually, do you want to do the honors? Yeah, that's not really what I do. Exactly. Okay, I've, I've been terrified. Been Gabby, you just sit back. You just no. start guessing. You don't got to do okay, anything. Okay, it's... It's I'm the guest. giving you a break, okay? I'm the guest. <laughs> I will be giving advice this week. You are, baby. You are, yeah. <laughs> You're going to give this person advice? Mm-hmm. This is my bottle. Okay, Gabby. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. ready. Because this person, they've been terrified of the dark ever since I was little, and my cousin locked me in a closet. Not a gay joke. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, I've been invited to a sleepover. With some of the cooler people. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Start from the beginning. I just need. To... I'm sorry. <laughs> no you need to read every submission. <laughs> <laughs> I've been incredible. terrified of the dark ever since I was little, and my cousin locked me in a closet. Not a gay joke. But recently, I've been invited to a sleepover with some of the cooler people. Okay. My brother says that I shouldn't go because I might freak out and ruin the party, but I don't want to miss out. I haven't told the people at the sleepover about my fear because I'm scared they'll uninvite me or worse. I think my brother might be right, but still, what should I do? Too long, didn't read. I'm scared of the dark and missing out, but which is worse? (laughs) Tina, you managed to put every inflection in the English language (laughs) into that submission. I'm that afraid of the dark, and my brother. I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> I'm afraid, afraid of the dark. And be around the cooler <laughs> Not a gay joke. Uh. This listener is going to be like, why the fuck did I get this person to read it <laughs> <laughs> any other week? <laughs> this listener is so mad at Gabby getting COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so mad. So this, listen, this listener, you slide into my DMs and, and we'll chat. I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'll send you a coupon for some free ice cream or something. I don't know. <laughs> you have vegan. never uh, once uh, offered that to me. All you offer me is soup. I told you I loved you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did say that. And you can't prove I didn't mean it. <laughs> Would it be weird if I uh, could? <laughs> typed it into an equation. <laughs> <laughs> Tina didn't mean that. According to my Would algorithm. Like... <laughs> That's me typing an algorithm. <laughs> I love how high the keyboard is. It's like above your eye level. <laughs> it's a standing desk. That I sit down at. <laughs> I always sit down at my standing desk. I've never... <laughs> I wonder what I'm typing. <laughs> My keyboard moves uh, around too, just to test me. Oh, okay. All the good ones do. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah, literally. Um, a toe board. A toe. Oh, a toe. Well, type with like your that, toes. Actually. Type with your toes. Type with yeah. your toes. Mm. You might be onto something. This is actually the way to cure our uh, listeners' fear of the dark. Actually, just get it. Just get a toe keyboard. Get a toe board. Get a toe board. I don't think yourself. you're going to ruin the party, listener, by uh, being afraid of... No one's going to be like, fuck! This mm. freaking person's afraid of the dark! How are mm. we going to sleep in it? Just maybe go... Maybe get a nightlight, and then... I was... I would say, keep the party going all night. Keep the oh, lights yeah. on. Oh, true. Everybody, you know... Yeah, yeah. You keep the party going all night. Until not only it... then are you, like, the life of the party, but you're not a... You know, that's not dark. Yeah, exactly. And then just at some point you'll doze off and then it'll be morning and you'll be like, oh, I fucking crushed it. Yeah, I was I was about to say, like, what if there was like uh, like an eye mask? But instead of making it dark, it just made everything bright. 
I was about. I was like, "Wait, is that the smartest or dumbest thing ever?" You could put um, cucumbers over your eyes and then open them and sleep like that. Hey, and then you'll look very refreshed. Ooh. Yeah, you'll be the coolest kid at the sleepover. <laughs> yeah, you could sleep in the bathroom with the lights on. I should... That's another. That's another <laughs> option. I did. You, oh, once. this is what the cool kids do. You go up and you talk to the parents. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tina, is that you what know you... they're up there in the kitchen. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? Yeah, you do? I'm so good with moms. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, the kids, they're going to think you're cool. You're up there with the parents, with the adults. <laughs> you're talking taxes. You're talking. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the other kids are going to come up and all the adults and you are going to be like, this is adult time. Go back down. Watch your little movie. <laughs> What else are you guys going to be talking about, Tina? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, imagine, you going up, imagine you going up to the dad and just be like, oh, the wife, am I right? The wife, am I right? <laughs> I've got one, too. <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I do love so, in yeah, this... That's- yeah, I was going to say, I love in this person's submission that they, like, they said with some of the cooler kids, but they didn't specify, like, it's school or church or Hebrew school. They just said the cooler kids in general. Hmm. Just in the world. This is, like... Yeah, to which I would say confidence. Coolness, all about confidence. Mm. You go into that sleepover thinking you're one of the cool kids. Yeah. You're going to be Wear sunglasses cool. indoors the whole time. Wouldn't that Power make move. it darker? We gotta get you off this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking out the hose one by one. <laughs> Soon it's gonna be the Tina podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Just you in this room alone. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how to work any of the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> you keep calling me up to be like, Lucas, how do you make it work? Lucas, and I broke also everything. Letting, <laughs> and also letting you into my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. You're like, how do I make this work, Lucas? And he's like, untie me first, and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in my own home. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I would say like, just like, I-, I I have nothing to add. I think you guys said it pretty well. Also, just maybe be honest with these people, being like, hey, I'm a little bit scared of the dark. Um, uh, vulnerability. Yeah, vulnerability. Yeah. Yeah. Be. Yeah. Just be open. That's yeah. th- That's where real confidence is. Tina's looking That's at me like, true. no, it's not. <laughs> no, actually, I agree. <laughs> okay, nice. Wow, we all agree. Except we me. All agree. I think vulnerability is gay. But that's mm. okay. Which doesn't exist. Yes. We're just all very straight. So there is no vulnerability. Okay. Exactly. Someone says, greetings. I had a question I would love your advice on. Well, that's what this is for. I've like. been part of a community theater group organization for different parts of Next. four or five years. Oh, come on. <laughs> we can only have one community theater person, and it's Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hide who you are. About 30% of the people I've met know me and in some ways still treat me like back when I was 16 or 17. What personal adjustments can I make to show these 30% of people who know the 16 to 17-year-old me that I'm a completely different person now that I am 20? And even maybe convince the few on the board to pass a project that I want to submit. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I want... So this person, 16, 17, is now 20. Yeah. Um, I would say dye your hair a vibrant pink. Do, do something really drastic. Really a big change to the appearance. That's what I say. I'd say get a, get a wig like Hannah Montana and they won't mm. even recognize you. That's a good idea. What do, what do you think, Tina? I say do all of that and then, you know, go buy a whole new wardrobe. Mm. And that's just to treat yourself. <laughs> that's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think it sounds like you've done a lot of work these last three years and you deserve it. That's great. That was so lovely. Um, genuinely, though, I say just try to be as true to yourself as possible and try not to, like, make a a change in other people's eyes because other people's perception of you is not what matters and you can't control what other people think so just try to be the most you version that you can be get a nose ring 
Ooh. That, Ooh. I think that was the best thing I ever did in my life, and you should do it too. When did you get yours? Listener. Uh, maybe like a year ago. Oh. Okay. Do you feel like a changed woman? Yeah, I feel so good with the nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> your nose is, your nose knows all. Your nose oh. knows all. And that's what this listener has to look forward to, people saying that to them. This is the first actual nosy meerkat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, she's replacing yeah. you. I would say, yeah. you know what? <laughs> I think as you get older, you're going to worry less about seeming too much like you were at 16 or 17 mm. but you do need to go through that thing of differentiating yourself from when you're 16 or 17 because when you're yeah. when you're an old crone at 28 like me sick and hobbled with the coronavirus by this point it'll be <laughs> covid 20 not covid 19 yeah. uh, it's yeah. another thing is also is that inevitably people are gonna go whoa you look different or you or like you've grown like that's just a thing that like always happens like you look so different oh my god i remember you when you just did little bit like uh yeah <laughs> how do they remember I, you just a little um i i feel like lucas just killed tina lucas was an ant oh yeah <laughs> He just uh, Those are her, adorably uh, squished your skull. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, I think that's it's an inevitable thing is that people are always going to notice what's different about you. No one is... I, I've never been apart from someone for three or four years and had them say, oh, you look exactly the same or just nothing has changed. They were, something even slightly. They, it's, I think that's inevitable. Yeah. Especially when you're still so young. Um, so I would say not only do you not need to worry about, uh, it, but no, yeah, that's it basically. Yeah. Hair is a great thing to change. Mm. Cause that it's going to grow back. Yeah. Or if you wear glasses and have curly hair, you can remove your glasses and straighten your hair like in the princess diaries. Cause then nobody will recognize Ooh. you. Whoa. Yeah. And do I you have to have a throne? Hair. You should, yeah. I've never straightened my hair. I don't know what it looks like straight. You should do it. Love yeah. is love and hate is hate. Love is love. Hate is hate. And hair is and hair. And now's the time to try. Now's the time. Should if we... you do it, I'll say, wow, you look so different. <laughs> 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 and that's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> you look different. You look <laughs> different. <laughs> Noticeably, that's never... That is such a funny phrase because someone could is like you could choose to compliment someone, but you're saying mm. you look different. Yeah, it's like when Emily Blunt would like just had. Uh, she says in like an interview that she had a, her first baby, and that one of the nurses like, "Oh my god, your baby is so cute!" And she's like, "I'm sure you say that to all the moms." And the nurse is like, "No, I don't." If with with other babies, she's she's like, "I'm like, you had a baby, like, <laughs> good oh, job." Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it is true. So, not yeah. every baby is cute. I think it is time we acknowledge that. Yeah. Well, I think it's time we stop expecting something that just came out of someone else's stomach to be cute. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I understand. That's what I say to my poop every day. I'm like, I'm, I'm not expecting you to be You're cute, like the crowd but you needs are. to stop asking for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas is on stage at the stand, and he's like... <laughs> He's performing. He's like doing his set, and then he's like, "You guys want to see my poop?" And everyone's like, <laughs> "Yeah!" Everyone's screaming, "Howling!" Please, we want it. <laughs> everyone's like begging. Everyone's like foaming at the mouth, trying. Oh my god, please let me see Lucas's poop. And then he shows them, and they all like boo him because it's so ugly. They like throw tomatoes at him. <laughs> um. All right. I think we have room for another one. So, um. I just started watching the podcast and I'm only a few episodes in, but I enjoy listening to your podcast while I sew. Me too. Do you sew? No, sorry. I'm a few episodes in. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Tina and I are flirting on the Zoom while you read yeah, this. Sorry. We're making faces at each other. <laughs> it's very distracting. Oh my God. Uh, anyways, uh, weird fear. Automatic doors and remote control stuff. More specifically, Ooh. elevator doors and drones. Mostly, I think this is a fear of things that are out of my control, but I encounter a lot. 
<laughs> You're encountering drones a lot. Yeah, this is. Um, Dro- uh, Wait, she's. It's, they're saying they're encountering drones. drones. She said, uh, "Yeah, said drones." Yeah. Yeah. Um, elevator doors and drones are, are what this uh, listener sp- uh, specifically is afraid of. Um, oh yeah. So mostly, I think this is a fear of things that are out of my control, but I encounter a lot. Also, is there any interest in hearing horse stories? I have a lot of yes. funny, scary, interesting barn stories. Yes, 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 yes. Send it all in. Always. Send it all in. I have wanted to be a horse girl forever, ever since I started watching The Saddle Club, this Australian horse kids show. Oh, my God. The Saddle Club. Do what you kind of horses th- they got on there? No, I've never heard of this. Don't act like we're <laughs> supposed to know what the Saddle Club is. <laughs> Don't act surprised. That sounds like a gay bar. It, <laughs> it, it does, does yeah. sound like a gay bar. It's an amazing. It's funny because it's a kids the show. The first gay bar for kids. <laughs> twelve year olds are let in. The the kids in the show are canonically supposed to be like twelve or eleven, which means like when I was watching in like two thousand seven or whatever, they were like my age. And years yeah. later, I saw one of the leads from the show at a gay bar. Whoa. Whoa. I saw her at the woods. <laughs> Tina, on you, Wednesday? Tina, you know what's Wednesdays going on at the woods, at the woods on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, listen, guys, here's the submission I want. What's happening at the woods on Wednesday? <laughs> I have not been to Wednesdays at the woods, I think. I think in like six years. I've Sh- never been, but I hear about it constantly. Should we go? I used to go. I, I think I have to. I Yeah, we should. I used to go literally every single week. I would go to Wednesdays at the Woods. And I was not, like, I was not, like, cool. I just wanted to be around other queer people and possibly hook up with them. And then I, when I got in relationships, I was like, I would never do that now. I'm already around enough queer people in my bed. <laughs> but then I've reached when, my quota. <laughs> then when I grew out of that, I was like, it sounds kind of fun to go again. It was a cha- It was a really chaotic place. I'm into chaotic places. I think we should go. You? Well, it's Thursday today, so not today. <laughs> yeah, and I have COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to really cause chaos? <laughs> <laughs> you have COVID, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I'm a little quirky. I have COVID. Um. <laughs> I can't see people at the moment. Yeah. I'm so introverted right now. Yeah. Duh. Okay, I wait, like... but <laughs> okay. back to the... Wait, back to the listener, though, like, uh, things like that you're afraid of, you're out of your control, things like elevator doors and drones. Um, any, I, I got nothing to help this person. I guess it's about what a fear is. Mm. Because. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get philosophical. I think, what, like, how afraid are you of elevator doors? Can you not look at an elevator without fucking shaking? Or is it just a little bit mm. like, I hope it doesn't close on me. Uh, or with a drone are you i guess drones are drones to me are scarier than elevator doors because drones can cause damage i was gonna say drones feels like a, a fear that i that sounds rational I would, to me i i as well would yeah. be more afraid of uh drones i guess the only thing about elevators that are scary is if the motion sensor doesn't pick up your hand it could close on you mm. but oh yeah that is true Imagine flying happen. elevator doors, though. <laughs> flying? Yeah, flying like a drone. <laughs> okay, we're supposed to be helping this person, not giving them more things up here. <laughs> Lucas is like, oh, you're scared of those two things? I like, put them together. <laughs> Tina's trying to help. Hate listener. is hate. Yeah. I'm trying to help, and this is what I'm... This is, uh, I'm this holding I'm always, you back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, no, that's that's tough. I guess hit that door open button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just keep your... Um, just keep that when you're on the Or also, open. if, like, you have a neighbor who just, like, has, like, who flies drones a lot, maybe ask them to, like, tone it down a little. Or... I don't think neighbors should if be If I have a neighbor who flies around. drones a lot, I say don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's some weird shit. That's some nerd shit I can't get behind. The, uh, yeah, last no. week's episode, we talked about Beyblades, and that's one thing. That's fine. But drones? Yeah. Beyblades of the sky. <laughs> the Beyblades of the so- sky to which I say goodbye. Yes. Or, or as Lucas says, goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> you sounded like a Muppet this time. <laughs> no, that's how I always do it. 
I always say oh goodbye. <clears throat> I always do that, yeah. Don't you say it more like goodbye? No, 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 no. I no, that's the way you do it. That's not the way I do it. Tina, how would you do it? How would you say it? I'd say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda kinda fun and flirty. Yeah. You're so quirky. Flirty and yeah. You're so quirky. That reminds me of our last uh segment, Lucas. Do you wanna tell your co hosts for the week? Yeah, I don't know how you know about it and our co-host doesn't. I listen, uh, because, I, I've been uh, listening because I've been I've been thinking about starting a you've podcast. Been my you've own. been learning for that notes app apology. Yeah, <laughs> thank I've, you for that. I've been listening to this podcast and White Fragility on audiobooks. Mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's all my reading. What yes, if someone so was like, and, like someone linked us under like resources for like <laughs> for like stopping prejudice, and it was just the Two Nosy Meerkats podcast. <laughs> This is a history podcast. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that would be good. Um, what genre do you think we would do well under, if not a comedy podcast? What do you think? What what sort of community do you think we serve? As True. Our crime? <laughs> True crime? In, True was, crime. No, but I want to take it back. I think you guys would do really well um, as like a... Um, I want to say like like a a middle school love advice column. Yeah, that's kind of what that's, that's kind of what, what we, we already do. do. That's kind yeah. of okay. Then let me do it. The true crime. <laughs> <laughs> true crime. True crime. But you guys committed the crime, so it's kind of like you're walking us through how you did it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just OJ's <laughs> if I did it, but in a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's our next guest next week. Next uh, week? Stay tuned. Um, I, would I got love him. to inter- like without the. <laughs> He's going up at Pine Box. Yeah. <laughs> OJ gets ten minutes on the Anne Hathaway mic. <laughs> Just ten. <laughs> Just ten. I mean, come on, it's a You're flying pretty, amount. It's a pretty busy mic. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's hopping. Yeah, that's true. Um. Well, Tina, so something we do at the end of every episode is we do a thing called Self-Perception Corner where we ask our actual guest, Tina Sieben, how um, uh, they like how they believe that they are perceived by other people. And then we say how we actually perceive you. Oh, well, this is great because I asked you earlier how I was doing. We did a little bit. Yeah, it was a little. But um, I'm so smart to asked that already yeah you get ahead of the game okay so say one more time how, yeah how, how do you how do you believe perceive? how do you believe you are perceived by other people sometimes i'm not listening <laughs> or learning yeah. or learning yeah how do you believe you are perceived by other people and then how i think i actually am no no no. we say how we actually how what we actually perceive you we get the you right know, we get the final say yes <laughs> okay hey you don't matter <laughs> yeah, and that feels um, so good to hear. <laughs> yeah, right before you're gonna say how you feel. Right before I'm gonna yourself. say, I think people think I matter so much. Yes. <laughs> um, I think people perceive me as um sarcastic. Is this how in depth am I supposed to keep go? Keep going, keep going. Okay, I think people perceive me as um. I think people perceive me as disingenuous, but I would say 90% of the time I'm being completely genuine. <laughs> okay. uh, I think, I think, I think when people first meet me, they think, oh, she's normal. And then I think if you have more than one interaction with me, you're like, this person's a freak uh, in a good way. Am I still going? I think people perceive. <laughs> <laughs> we just never stop you. Just, if you've got more, if you've got more, I don't know. You're really right. I, God, I. It's sad how little I probably thought about this. I think people. <laughs> that's probably healthy, actually. Yeah. That it's not a thing you're worried about. Like that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. This is healthy. She I, said that she didn't think about it. Not that she's not worried about it. I wouldn't say I'm worried about it either. Oh. <laughs> health. <laughs> Mental I health. wouldn't joke about taking over. I wouldn't joke about eliminating the host of the podcast I'm on one by one if I cared. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I love each of you so much. Oh. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for you to wear my skin later. <laughs> I'm being completely genuine. 
<laughs> um, Gabby, would you like to begin? Sure. Tina, I think you actually got it pretty nail on the head. When I first met you, I was like, this person's normal. I think the first time I saw you actually was at um, an Eastville mic. Uh, probably the one before Firestarters. And yeah. uh, I remember you did a riff that I still haven't forgotten where you said the Q in LGBTQ stood for quirky. Okay, I did not know I've ever said that in my life. <laughs> I think you'd like just started comedy. Wow. But like I was like, huh. Ah. <laughs> you know? You're like, okay, maybe maybe they've got something. <laughs> well yeah, I mean at that mic it was like a lot of beginners. So it was like I was like, mm. okay, well maybe maybe just... and then I saw Maybe your... like two years down the line. They'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm digging myself in a hole here. Cause then I saw your regular set. I was like, this is so good. So much better than that riff. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I okay, was... so, so you perceived me as bad at comedy. No. And then later we're like, That's nah. not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I said I perceived you as good at comedy, which was surprising me because I saw you at first as a very like, quiet person. So I, you didn't like, I was like, who is this person? I'm so quiet. <laughs> I don't know. At first I thought maybe you were like shy. And then I met you and I was like, this person's a freak. And I thought you were wonderful i've always thought you were wonderful i do i think over time i've gotten to know how deeply chaotic you truly are and You're it such makes a quiet person a quiet gentle soul that's how i perceive you speaking softly and carrying a big stick <laughs> a big stick <laughs> yeah you're the teddy roosevelt of podcasting yeah you're the eleanor roosevelt speak softly and carry wow. a big strap no i appreciate <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were good right. at, i've always thought you're very good at comedy tina that's very nice i've always thought you you you're so good at comedy so good <laughs> i'm sorry i, this, I know this you mean is it. the tone of my voice <laughs> this just is my voice <laughs> it does sound sarcastic but i know you mean it this you just is me. my cadence this is like my natural speaking pattern <laughs> Yeah. You've really you really honed it on stage though and it works. I what I Thank didn't you. realize I think is that you speak like that off stage too and I'm like holy fuck. Like, <laughs> how have you gone through the world? <laughs> no, I appreciate that you called me chaotic. I I think I agree with that. I didn't realize it about you at first, but I'm like, "Oh, she's deeply chaotic." It sneaks mm. up on you. It does, yeah. Like a beautiful beautiful uh, what's something that's sneaky? Swiper from Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Swipe. Oh, I love oh you know yeah. what? He's not that's sneaky because great... everyone yells when he's around. <laughs> yeah. Which is what they do for me, too. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's like, Tina, <laughs> say, Tina. Tina, no. Tina, no swiping. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah. Wow. Well, for me, I will say that when I first saw you, I was not... I don't want to say I was like... Wait, wh <laughs> where is this gonna go? <laughs> oh, hello, this is a journey. Let me. Well, I remember I met you for the first time last year at the show that Chris Sher brought me to, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, she's really good and cool." And then I, I don't. I wasn't like until any time I meet someone new, I'm like scared to like uh, initiate a conversation because I don't want to like disturb them. So I had a little bit of that. I was like, oh, I don't want to intrude because you were hosting a show. You had a lot of people to talk to. So I was like, oh, I don't want to take up her time. I was really sweaty that night. <laughs> it was super fucking hot. Someone fainted really in the that audience night. that night. <laughs> it was June. Uh, and it was, yeah. yeah. Um, but I will say like, we've recently started just like hanging out. Like we went to see Jackass. And oh, then... yeah, we're so fun. Yeah. We're... It was so great. And I, I've never been more pleased to realize someone is just easy to spend time and hang out with. You're very, very easy to hang out with. You are. You guys are so sweet. It's such a breeze. It's so fun. and It's only in public. Yeah. When we turn it's the cameras off, we're going to berate It's all Tina. a show. You're like, this yeah. fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm always filming. We're, we have a, we have another segment. It's called Off Camera Perception Corner. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's our future Patreon exclusive. Like, this fucking guest. We hate <laughs> That actually um, would be a fun Patreon exclusive. We just roast ooh. the shit out of whoever is our guest. I would pay for that. That's good. That's a good idea. 
Um, but yeah, I, I I can't think of a single negative thing to say about you. Oh my god! And if you, you guys did... can bring me back anytime. <laughs> oh sure, uh, yeah. yeah, in the guest chair. Just to compliment me? Yeah, this is just a compliment <laughs> hour. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I thought you'd both like to know that baseball is back. <gasps> in <Ooh>. what way? <laughs> 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 in vogue. Back how? Like what? This is, it's so sad no one back, back in fi- season is like, it back, back financially emotionally socially yeah. spiritually what back is it? on the back. apps like yeah. what <laughs> baseball's back on the apps it's on scruff hinge grinder i can't yeah. believe people don't know linkedin this. linkedin <laughs> there was a labor strike PayPal. in baseball the union and the mlb were striking against each other and they recently came to a deal so we're actually gonna have baseball nice it's the news i've been waiting for <laughs> I know you two have I'm been so excited for you guys. Chomping at the bit. To... <laughs> yeah. I want to take you both to a Mets game. I feel like it'd be fun to do I have go. not been since I was seven. I've never been. I'm not even a Mets Whoa. fan, but it's more mm-hmm. fun than a Yankees game. I'm a Yankees fan, but it, like you can't take casual fans to Yankee Stadium because the stadium kind of sucks. Mets Stadium, mm. they have mm. like a Shake Shack and... Uh, and, and you know what? If they got a Shake Shack, we're there. That's you're, so oh, true. You're on board. <laughs> they got a Shake Shack. I'll forget take, about it. We can go to a Mets game. We should go to a WNBA game. Ooh, Ooh I'd go to. I've a, never go. been to a WNBA. Let's that go. would be great. I'm trying to be a WNBA wife. Court side. <laughs> I see that for you. That I see it for ho- me that too. Would be so- I see it for me in a big way. And love- and no one could say I'm in it for the money because they talk <laughs> big pay disparity there. <laughs> Oh you're like not I even gonna <laughs> go on be, like i'm gonna be the one bringing in the money for me and my wife and, right and, but i'm still gonna be at every you're game the courtside. Yeah. yeah i love the idea that everyone else is like wearing either like suits or some sort of like uh like sport merch and then you're just dressed exactly as you are yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what the WNBA wife does yeah oh i love that I like the idea that you would advocate against equal pay so that you wouldn't <laughs> think you were a trophy wife. <laughs> That's a hilarious bit. <laughs> no, That's listen. so funny. I don't want no. them to get paid well. Listen, if any WNBA stars are listening right now, I would love and support you in every way imaginable, including equal pay. <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> Tina, where on the socials can the WNBA find you? Yes. Oh, I've All... been tweeting at them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's you for real. Freak. I I did recently tweet at the WNBA. But please give uh, the WNBA, uh, who may not be aware yeah, of you, yeah, please no, tell I them understand. your socials and any other uh, shows or anything you want to plug. Oh, yeah. Okay, listen. I'm on the socials. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys laughing at me or with me? Both. Both. <laughs> so good. Yes. I'm on the socials. Uh it's Tina Seaman. You search it. Um, I'll pop up. <laughs> um, I. <laughs> you better just search it yourself. You better do your own research, mama. <laughs> listen, I don't do work for anybody. <laughs> um, you search for me. <laughs> listen to me. Uh. I used to have a monthly show. It's not running right now. But if you follow me, you know, I, I'll host something and you'll see it. I'll post about it. It'll be a good time. <laughs> I write for Reductress. You can just Google my name. <laughs> You're like, I'm so famous. You just Google me and I'll come Google out. Tina's even Reductress. You can read my articles. And then, I don't know, maybe it gets me something. The more people that click them. Google I don't know. Tina Sieben, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where were we? Industry? What? What bar Wait, were we at when we made up oh. that? Oh, oh, we were at a now closed gay bar called Therapy. Oh, ah, oh. sorry. Yeah, please. I feel like I was taken there once by a friend. Yeah. Oh, and Lucas is a gay. I yeah. feel like I was taken. Yeah, yeah, by I a was friend. just there with a friend. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you were taken to therapy, and you got confused. You were like, I, oh, yeah, so this is a bar. and I just misremember it. Is yeah. this is this some kind of bar? And then someone was like, Yeah. Oh, how are you feeling and like, Take today? A seat. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gay. Whoa, stop trying to get in my pants, dude. Uh, <laughs> they're like, my my name is Ellen. I'm your therapist. Please just. Your Why therapist is, is Ellen? Ellen? <laughs> Damn, Ellen fell far if she's <laughs> not your therapist. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Lucas therapist is Ellen. <laughs> also, you don't want Ellen as your therapist. <laughs> I didn't even mean it as Ellen. I just meant Anne Ellen. <laughs> There's only one Ellen in the world. That's true. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm learning. I'm listening. I'm trying to do better. <laughs> you go to therapy and your therapist like, N- my name's Ellen. You're like, DeGeneres? <laughs> She's like, no, everyone always thinks that. <laughs> and you're like, no, you're Ellen DeGeneres. There's only one. And then she like pulls off her mask and, it, and it's Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. That would be funny, actually. That would be what she a, should do that. That's a great twist. That, mm-hmm. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Imagine if that's like one of her pranks. Like she just like uh, she dresses up as someone's actual therapist. and She's like, psych, I'm Ellen. That would be way funnier than what I feel like she actually does, which is just doesn't yeah. she just dance yeah. with uh, like Oscar Isaac and yells at people. Yeah. Yeah. And Even when he's not the guest, she just she just brings him on. She to does dance this quirky him. prank. She stomps on her intern's heads. So quirky. <laughs> what a good ally. Um, <laughs> yeah, the um, Q in LGBTQ stands for Ellen is so quirky that she stomps on her intern's head. Yeah. A little Spread long. that rumor. Yeah. Uh, Gabby, do you have anything you want to plug? Um. Yeah, I am going to stop having COVID soon, and then you can book me <laughs> on a show again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry for pausing. <laughs> Tina just did the quietest but rumbliest burp I've ever heard. Oh my god. It's a good thing I'm mic'd. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know what's so funny is I've been doing that all episode. <laughs> I only just know I was like what did really you hoping eat? you can't. <laughs> it sounded like it was like it was like a low rumble. I didn't have time to move away from the microphone. <laughs> That's horrifying. Clearly, it wasn't that yeah. close to the mic, so I couldn't hear it. I had a ginger ale before I came, and it, yeah, it's been all episode. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I'm really sorry. If you all want to hear me burp into a microphone. I Mm -hmm. will be doing, I'll be doing Maxim Allen's Twitch stream on the 23rd, and then I'll also be on Colin Paul's show in Harlem uh, on the 31st, and then I don't have anything booked before then, because I was supposed to go to LA, but now I might not be able to, because I have um, the novel coronavirus. You have COVID. Have you heard? (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm now using it as a desperate ploy for attention. Have you heard? I have COVID. Have you heard? Yeah. Um, for me, I have a, a show with my sketch group, 24 Hour Kiss Club, on March Woo! 25th at uh, Asylum NYC. The ticket link, I think, just went live on Asylum's website. And I'm also going to be doing Aton Levine's uh, show on March 31st. And you can find the details on my website, lucastarnold.com forward slash comedy. Well, would you look at that? Booked and busy. Booked and busy. Well, thank you no both COVID, for having baby. me. As you, thank you for we're coming. so glad you were able to be here as our guest. But give a round of applause for our regular co-host Tina Steven. Golf clubs. And uh, do you have anything else to add? Anything else? No, thank you. I love you both so much. Thank you so much for having me. We love me. you too, and we're very, very grateful that you came on the podcast. Uh, Gabby, anything else? Um, yeah. Another day. Another day. Another pod. Let me think of something else. It's a, a word of wisdom. A little button. If yeah. a tree... Make it super... Oh. 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 <laughs> Listening. Oh. 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 Listening. If a tree falls in the forest, oh. then get a new forest. Because <laughs> yours is broken. Because yours yeah. is broken as shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end. That's it. That's that's the pod. Uh, Thank you guys very much for watching and listening. We'll see you next week.